Hello everyone, Chef just two here. Welcome to or back to my channel, whichever the case may be. I'm bringing you another session of I Play Games, and today I am playing War Thunder once again. Bringing you some squad play with Mr. Foxhound. Showing you a little bit of the overlay, just so you can see how the replay functions. And still, as far as replay, I can get all of this information out of the way as far as players and blah 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 but that bar at the bottom still can't cinematics I did figure out thanks to Starkiller how to get rid of but still no not not exactly fully functional for what I'm looking for but at the same time it's kind of nice you can see it's eight minutes into a battle so I can kind of understand where Gaijin wants to cut down that climb rate my answer to that would be air starts. If you give me more of an option to fly straight at an enemy, I shouldn't have to dogfight a uh, German, or no, not German, but a Russian plane in a German plane at 3,000 meters, kilometers, whatever, because uh, 3,000 meters really is not operational altitude for my plane but if you give it the option to climb give them the option to climb from say 3,000 meters that would be cool uh, Foxhound did go on an aggressive dive and busted off his wings so leads me to be more cautious as I have realized compression ability has been added to more planes than the last time I was in the game and it seems a couple of other changes the spotting the aspect ratio I swear seems to have changed things seem I don't know they just don't seem the same distance I can't gauge if it's whether farther or closer but things don't feel the same at all I do manage to get some critical shots into this P63 Dramatic music provided to you once again by War Thunder. Uh, these Russian P-63s are the bane of my existence, I swear. They do not perform anything like their American counterparts, where the main difference was only the weaponry. So, go figure. Anyway, my ally gets the kill, I get the assist. My thought process is altitude, 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 so I'm climbing at a fairly decent rate. Start to take some AA fire. Have to go a little bit evasive because, again, AA seems to be a bit more accurate than the last time I came in. But I'm not going to complain. Uh, it doesn't seem overpowered. I think it should be a bit OP when to approach the airfield. Definitely open combat like this, definitely for the immersion. I want to hear some stuff popping off around me. We do have this Yak 9K engaging some friendlies. I go vertical, seeing if I can align myself a bit in a more proper situation to gain his six. No, he's turning too sharp. I'm just going to pretty much do the same thing, only cut my angle a little bit sharper, try to roll in on his 6. Not going to happen though. Not. He's, this Yak 9K is actually able to turn a little more steep than I think. Throw off some shots. He starts trying to put me into a scissors. I go into a somewhat of a rolling scissor realize hey if I continue on this path it's not gonna be a good day for me thank goodness I don't know if he was engaged with that guy from the beginning or did not see me or changed his mind at the last moment but that allows me to get his six and allows me to put some rounds right there into his tail section maybe a little bit of his fuselage midsection now he definitely notices me 
He goes into a hard, banking right turn. I pitch up, trying to stay inside of his angle. I realize it's not going to happen. My energy retention is not equaling his. I dip my nose, but at the same time, pull back up. He ends up engaged with a friendly, which allows me to put this snap roll right onto the six once again. I have to cut the throttle a little bit and pull back up into him. Able to get the critical shot. Try to maintain this six. I want to make sure he goes down. Maybe we'll throw some more light machine gun rounds into his wing as I pass by. You can see he's totally dying. Want to put a loop on him? Make sure though. You can never be too certain. At this time, I put myself into a good situation. Either his plane goes down or he bails out. Either way, credit for the kill. The Ak-9K goes down. And again, looking for that altitude as the BF-109 versus the Russian planes. I want to be at an altitude advantage whenever I engage, if at all possible. Now, what you cannot see as I am progressing through the match is me looking at uh, the scorecard. I don't know, I press tab, it shows me the scorecard. I can see who's left in the match, blah blah blah, scores, all that good stuff. I know at this time, it's this is it, this is the bomber. It's him and maybe two or three of us. I've got plenty of ammo left, so I'm going to engage. It is a Mitchell. These B-25s can be quite a problem. The bombers did receive a somewhat of a nerf. As I'm dropping in and trying to line up a shot, this guy does put some rounds out on me, but I haven't locked onto him at this point. But as I make my second approach, you can see Friendly went in. Looks like he may have crashed. But as I am flying high to this gentleman's 10, 11 o'clock, his gunner has not opened up on me. This leads me to believe either this is He's trying to level up his bomber, he has no skill points, or a, the AI gunners have been nerfed. He's obviously not shooting or going into gunner mode himself. It gives me a bit more confidence as I swoop in and give him some solid hits to his engine, set him on fire. I'm just looking for him to go down. I want to disengage at this point because I realize, wow, <laughs> I'm pretty much upon his airfield. And uh, they're going to end up shooting me down. Airfield is going to end up shooting me down. But I'm like, hey, all or nothing. So I decide to give him at least one more pass. Line up my angle, take the shots. Another close, close, close call. Able to put him down. Want to get out of the AA fire if I can. I've actually taken a lot of damage to my plane from him and AA. AA is still putting pressure on me. You can hear right there. Put another shot into me. AA has just put an end to my day. All hostile aircraft are down. All I need to do is stay in the air and let that counter run out to win the match. And here we go. That's it. Match one. 
I want to thank you all for joining me once again for I play War Thunder squad play. Remember, fly high, keep your heads on the swivel, and I will see you on those digital fields of battle.